eight minutes. The Knoxville Fire Department is on the scene of a house fire. Just take a look at the flames fully involved in this house. This is on Helmbolt Drive, not too far from Bearden Middle in West Knoxville. Thankfully, the family of seven living there made it out of the home safely and no one is hurt this morning. We have talked to KFD. They're not sure how the fire started. Everyone is safe. Again, that investigation underway right now. And happening today, Knox County Commission will vote on the Advanced Knox Growth Plan. Today's vote applies directly to the future land use. Yeah, the future land use plan specifies which development types like town centers, subdivisions, businesses can be built in certain areas. It works with the growth boundaries set by the growth policy plan. County Mayor Glenn Jacobs pushing for commissioners to pass his 20 year growth policy plan without any changes. He says the time for wholesale changes is gone and he's asking commissioners to pass this plan as presented. You can read a letter from Mayor Jacobs about this right now inside your WVLT News app. Tonight's meeting starts at five in the city county building's main assembly room. Well, check this out. Excitement is building at Farragut Intermediate for this special Olympics. The whole school got together to cheer on the team for their big day today at Powell High School. Coming up in the CW, I'm going to introduce you to one athlete who shows us why programs like the Special Olympics level the playing field for all students. And today is Earth Day. It helps raise awareness around the globe, promoting ways we can keep our planet healthy and livable. A CBS News poll shows 70% of Americans are in favor of taking steps to reduce climate change, and organizers look to promote events educating everyone about several different subjects, including pollution, recycling, composting, carbon footprints, and efficient cars. And today in East Tennessee, you can help make a positive impact on the environment. There's a trash cleanup day at the Von Orr Heritage Park today. It's at uh, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock this afternoon. You'll get an Earth Day t-shirt. Make sure you wear comfy clothes. You can meet in the pavilion in the park. Feel free to come the entire time or only part of the time. Police are on the lookout for these two men on your screen. Take a look. They're accused of breaking into a car earlier this month, stealing a watch and a credit card, then using that card just down the road on Washington Pike. If you recognize these men or you have any information about these crimes, you are encouraged to call police. And right now, KPD is looking for an attempted murder suspect. Take a look at your screen. We want to show you 27-year-old Javes Craigmeyer. Investigators say he shot a woman at an apartment complex on Dandridge Avenue Saturday morning. The 31-year-old victim is in stable condition at the hospital. Craigmeyer is facing several charges, including attempted first-degree murder, especially aggravated robbery as well. If you see him, call police. You could get a cash reward if your tip leads to an arrest. We've got the Crime Stoppers number for you inside your WVLT News app. A grand jury indicted a Fentress County mother and father accused of abusing their adopted children. Jessica and Jason Klimp suspected of abusing two of their four adopted kids. Officials say a 12 year old was so malnourished in February, doctors thought she was six. Warrants showed Jason Klimp claimed he pureed food for the two kids, saying they couldn't eat solid food. The documents also state the couple made the two kids sleep in totes in their home's basement as punishment. The couple's facing six counts of aggravated child abuse and neglect. A police chase ended in the suspect crashing into a restaurant on Chapman Highway. Yeah, the Knox County Sheriff's Office says a deputy tried to pull someone over, but the suspect refused to stop. They say the driver lost control and hit the Thai Time restaurant. It was closed. No one is hurt. The driver had previous warrants and now faces additional charges. And the Tennessee Highway Patrol investigating a crash after a tree went through a car. Take a look at this. Crews responded to Houston Valley Road in Greene County on Saturday. They found the driver in a juvenile trapped inside. They're doing okay, though. The driver taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Miraculously, that juvenile is not hurt. And this morning, prosecutors in Manhattan getting ready to present their case against former President Donald Trump to a panel of jurors. The former president faces 34 counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors accuse him of funneling hush money through his former lawyer Michael Cohen to adult film star Stormy Daniels to hide an alleged affair before the 2016 presidential election. Trump denies the affair. He's pleaded not guilty. And today, another New York judge will hear arguments in a civil fraud case regarding former President Trump's business dealings in New York. Well, Tesla is recalling every single Cybertruck it has sold so far. Yeah, that'd be just under 4,000 because the accelerator can get stuck in the down position. Federal regulators say workers improperly use soap to help fit the pad onto the accelerator panel. Remnants of the soap can keep the pad from staying on when it's pressed down, causing it to stick in place. Tesla says it will replace or repair the pedal for free. 6.54 now, we want to get a check of your first floor traffic with Chris and Allen.
Good morning. Taking a look here at I-40 at Asheville Highway. You can see we've got some of that traffic flow getting moving through East Knoxville right now, but really still looking good across the board. Not seeing any slowdowns all the way through to Paper Mill Drive. I-40 at Paper Mill looking good as well. Seeing more of that traffic flow in West Knoxville, but again, seeing everyone move along just fine. Now we do want to remind you about this road work out on the tail of the dragon from Tabcat Creek to the North Carolina state line. You could see some lane closures through there starting today, Monday through Thursday. We'll keep you updated on this, but right now not seeing any delays. Take a quick look at those drive times. 75 South, 640 West and 40 West are all up to speed and on time. Five minutes to seven now as we are starting the day off here with that chill in the air. I want to point out you might want to take advantage of the cool day to get some yard work done, but that does mean that the weather is still stirring around in typical spring fashion with allergies. Tree pollen is high. Grass levels are coming in higher now at a moderate level, so I've been first alerting you to the fact that that would be coming up over the past couple of weeks. Dust levels are low in case that's a trigger for you, and we'll keep it this way until we have rain come through Wednesday morning. So even winds tomorrow will help to stir up those pollen counts as well. But right now, at least everything's very calm, mostly clear. Again, those last few clouds going up and over the mountains. Temperatures now 38 at the Knoxville Airport, 36 in Sevierville, 32 though La Follette, 36 Crossville to 33 in Middlesbrough. It's so obviously a very cold morning sharing those 30s, but it's frosty in our higher elevations. As we then go into the afternoon, we're staying below average. It'll be 53 degrees at 11. Cool breeze out of the northeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. All clear though this afternoon and evening. 64 your high today, mid 50s at 9 o'clock. So tonight will be a little colder because we're letting all this just kind of settle in. Those winds don't start stirring up until tomorrow. Knoxville dropped around 38 tomorrow, 37 in La Follette. Uh, we're looking to start around 36 in Morristown as we have that chill to start your Tuesday. One more cold morning and then those winds stir up that heating tomorrow. Midweek though, we're starting up some scattered rain for your Wednesday morning. Again, I'm tracking that for you coming up on the CW, especially with that helping to pull up that humidity helping those morning lows. So that's why the second half of the week is milder from beginning to end. But really, the warming trend continues with 80s on into early that. next week. I'm obsessed with that. I do have to say, I, your allergy report, I kind of feel like a tree this morning. Just, <laughs> yeah. oh! I know, it's yeah. rough, especially when the grass starts mixing in. 100%. All right, we're headed over to WBXX, the CW in Oxville, starting at 7. We'll see you there.